If you want to take a natural approach to improving your health, or if you're currently on your health journey and want just a little additional health motivation to help you keep going, maybe you tried to take a natural approach to improving your health, but you were unsuccessful. If any of these apply to you, you are watching the right video. Hi, I'm Kim from Life Strength and Health, and this channel is all about helping you to improve and optimize your health naturally. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you do not miss future episodes. In this video, I'm going to share three tips for health motivation, and I was actually inspired to share this message when I was building my own personal computer. And I know you're thinking, health tips and building a PC, what's the connection? Bear with me and you'll see what I mean. But before I share the tips, I first have to give you a brief backstory. So at the end of 2021, we decided to start to study and learn all about video content creation because it's something that we wanted to do more of. So I went to good old YouTube University and I started to do my research and I learned about the camera gear, lighting, editing, uh, audio, all the things that go into producing quality content. So after we acquired all of the information, the next step was to implement and to take action because the only way to do something is to do it. So in December, we decided to jump headfirst in and we actually joined a challenge called Vlogmas. And Vlogmas is just a thing where content creators produce and put out a video a day for the entire month of December. And the benefits of this is it gets that muscle strengthened of shooting a video, editing it, uploading it, and all that it entails with going into that. So we decided to participate and we did. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. It was tough with creating and editing and just getting in the habit of doing it, but we learned so much. But one of the biggest things that was the most painful was the editing process. I actually love the art of editing, but the part that was painful was the part of rendering the video. And rendering, all that means is taking a video that you created, putting in your software, manipulating and making all the changes, taking out all the mistakes, and then converting it into a file that you can upload to Instagram, YouTube, or Vimeo. Something had to change. Like I cannot continue to create videos and go through that very painful process of waiting for such a short video to render. I don't have an extra 90 minutes to waste. Who does? So I had to find a solution, like something had to change. So I went back to good old YouTube University and I started to do my research. What type of PC would I need in order to edit a video? And it was two solutions. You could either buy one or what a lot of people do is they build one. And after doing my research, the most economical way was to build a PC. I was excited and nervous at the same time. This was definitely uncharted waters, but I knew that I, I needed a PC that could get the work done for me quicker. So after doing my research, I acquired all the parts and I set out a date to sit down and put the PC together. And honestly, putting the computer together really isn't that hard. Like there's so much great information out there that you can follow step by step by step by step. And it was very seamless and I did it in one night. But I will share that after I built it, it looked pretty in the case, but I was afraid to turn it on because what if I did all this work and it doesn't turn on. Like, what am I going to do? I have to admit I was stalling. Jamal even asked like, aren't you gonna turn it on? I finally said, okay. So I plugged in the computer into the outlet and the little light came on that indicated that power was going to the PC. So that was an exciting moment. Like, yes, there's power going to this PC. But the next step was turning it on, and booting it up to make sure that everything worked. So I hit the power button and I turned on my monitor and guess what? There was no display, no picture, nothing, nada. And I can honestly say like a piece of me died inside in that very moment. I had to hold it together because I just wanted to break down and cry. I even changed up parts because I thought maybe certain things were incompatible or were defective. That didn't work. I reached out to a friend to pick their brain because they're into computers, but this wasn't their area of expertise. So that didn't work. 
but they gave me a number to a PC technician that they used that he felt could help me. And I took the computer to the computer technician and within a day, he was able to tell me what was wrong with the PC. I gave him the new part and voila, my computer is up and running and I'm super excited and proud of myself and I love this PC. So from this experience, I was inspired to share three tips for health motivation. The first tip is to just get started. I was apprehensive with building a PC. I was nervous. What if this didn't work? All these doubts and fears certainly crept up in my mind, but my why was bigger than my fears. I had clarity and I knew that I needed this PC so that I could efficiently and effectively create video content. That was the end goal. And this was a part of reaching my end goal. So even though I was apprehensive or scared, I just got started. And when you want to take a natural approach to improving your health, there's so many naysayers, there's so much misinformation out there. You certainly could get overwhelmed, but the most important thing is to get started. If you don't take action, you won't even move in the direction of reaching your health goals because wishing and hoping and praying is not going to get you the solution you need. You have to take action and you have to move forward and just getting started is something that everyone needs to do in order to reach your health goals. The second tip that I want to share is the importance of weathering the storm. Now, one of my biggest fears, it came into fruition. What if I create this computer and it doesn't work? And it didn't. I could not for the life of me figure out what was going on. I troubleshooted. I went on YouTube. I called a friend and I had to end up going to a qualified professional to help, but I didn't give up. Believe me, there's times when I question, why did I choose this route? I should have just went and got a Dell or I should have went and got a Mac. This would have been so much easier. Why am I wasting my time? But I had to pull myself back together and stay focused on the choice that I made and my end goal. And I wasn't going to give up. You can fall off. You can get diverted. You can have some roadblocks and stumble along the way. But the most important thing is not to give up because if you stay in the game, if you stay in the fight, you still have a chance. And if you keep going, you're eventually going to hit your mark. So weathering the storm is a very crucial component when you want to achieve your health goals. And my third and final tip that I want to share is not being afraid to ask for help. I was trying to figure out the solution. I went on YouTube, I implemented a few things. I took the computer apart and I put it back together piece by piece. I even exchanged two parts that I thought was incompatible and didn't work well together. I called a friend. All these things led me to not, still not finding the solution and my computer still not booting up and working. And the end goal was for me to have a working PC. So I had to go to someone that was much further along, which this is what they did. It was a qualified professional who works with computers that not even within a day could help diagnose and figure out what was wrong, give me the clarity and insight I needed and the direction that I needed. And when I took his advice and changed that one part, the computer was up and running in no time. And what he did for me was he collapsed time frames for me because I would have eventually figured out the part, but it was so many other parts in between that I would have to return and get the new part, put it together, turn it on. And the two times that I did that and it didn't turn on, it was so defeating each and every time because it was like, is this going to be the moment? No. Is this going to be the moment? No. So instead of going through that for all these parts, I went and seeked help. I got outside help to give me the clarity that I need. So when you're on your health journey, if you're struggling, if you're apprehensive, if you don't know where to get started, getting help from a qualified health professional is going to get you there faster. It's going to take the guesswork out. It's going to give you the clarity, insight, and the direction that you need so that you can take action and you can move forward so that you can reach your health goals and reach them faster. So these are three tips that I want to share for health motivation. 
And I know I call them motivation, but it really is three tips for the proper health mindset. Motivation is only going to get you so far. Motivation is futile. It comes and it goes. When it's available, it's great. But what happens when it's lacking? This is where mindset comes into play. Just getting started and taking action, weathering the storm during those times when you have obstacles, you face some bumps in the road, and getting help and assistance from qualified health practitioners and professionals when you need it. These three tips will help get you in the proper mindset and align you with the proper direction so that you can achieve health success and reach your health goals. If you receive value from this video, make sure you click that like button. Helping you to take a natural approach to improving your health is our mission and is what we do at our wellness center, Life Strength and Health. And if this is something that you're interested in learning more about, make sure you check out our playlist where we share some videos on how to properly do that. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. And until next time, live healthier.